Lakota Gooseneck Horse Trailer here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, I haven't seen the spec sheet on it yet, but looking at this, it looks to be roughly a 7309 model. Um, roughly 7 foot wide, I believe it's actually 6'9 wide, which is slick because that means you can uh, easily see around it in your vehicle. You don't need big towing extensions or anything like that. And you don't really lose space in the living quarter thanks to the big slide out that you have right here. And what's cool about that is it's a cable slide system, which is not only extremely reliable, but it's also very light in weight. And you see that we do have it protected with the slide awning top of here. That's a very good way to protect your investment from just casual debris and whatnot. Um, you know, you figure if you're at uh, you're at an event and it's kicking up a lot of dust and dirt, it's not going to build up on top of that slide and get run in and out of your uh, seals. All three stalls have a uh, drop-down feeder window here with real easy access sort of hand grabs. Now, even in the escape door you see up front here, we still have one of those. Um, I like the nice white skin. That'll help keep it cooler inside. It'll also help keep it cooler for your animals. We have swinging barn doors instead of ramp doors, so we will have a step up. Um, a lot of horses load just fine either way. I've never seen a horse personally that wouldn't load into a step up. I'm sure they exist, but uh, you know, I, I have seen a few horses that just did not like a ramp. So I don't know, it's probably one of those six to one, half a dozen to another things. Interestingly, on the butt side, we also have drop down doors and that will allow you to get some just extreme airflow for your animals back here. Plus, look at the size of these windows right here. You can have a very nice breeze whipping through there for your horses. We put on a double floodlight for loading at night and loading up all your tack. And this is an all aluminum trailer. Aluminum frame, aluminum skin, aluminum everything. Including your uh, tack divider wall here. That can easily be pulled and uh, moved out. And uh, this is on a 60-40 split. So you do have a bigger space here than here. That will allow you to stay more side by side with your horse. It's a little safer for horse and rider that way. Um, Built heavy duty, good aluminum extruded floor. That'll uh, hold up to just about you know anything. You, that's a cattle floor. You could put that on there; wouldn't uh, be a problem. This has a uh, kicks uh, plated wall here, so that it's uh, less inclined for your horse's shoes to be able to grab and tear this up. And so that on top of this material, so they don't rub on a, and get a sore spot, they have this nice little uh, spacer cover right here. Um, this is a three horse slant. Of course it's a slant three horse. That was silly. Anyway, um, they do finish off the roof in these very nicely. So let, that'll add a little bit extra um, insulative quality for cold weather travel. Um, you notice that everything is padded where the horses are going to be inclined to rub on it. We do like to put uh, a stud divider on the front wall here. And of course air vents for each animal. Um, in case you're wondering about the, the cardboard, this is something Lakota does with their trailers. They're very, very proud of the work they do. Um, it's, you know, it's the reason I believe they're the number one um, selling living quarter company out there right now. And they, uh, you know, they keep their stuff looking nice. They just take a little bit of scrap from the shop, put it on the floor so that, you know, we don't have footprints all over your brand new trailer when you take it home. Um, here in the mid bathroom of our nine foot short wall, we have a 12 volt max air fan that uh, what's very cool, this is something I've found in newer high-end fifth wheels. Uh, the wall control here, you can open and close with one push of one button right here. You can just tell it if you want airflow going in or out. And you can set this thing right to your thermostat so that it'll kick on and off automatically. And look at the wood tones on this. I, I love the, the, just the, the shade of the wood that they have going on here. It's very light, very natural, very warm. Um, this does have a full shower on here, not the largest shower in the world, but this is also, you know, not a 14-foot living quarter that's going to cost you an arm and a leg. That's one of the nice things about it is these are reliable and they're affordable. You know, they, they function. That's the best thing I can say about them. If something doesn't just work, who wants it? Nobody wants it if it doesn't just work. Um, interior, we have all puck lights, I believe. These are halogen, they could be LED, so don't quote me on that, it could go one way or another. And for privacy, you'll see here that we do have a true pocket door hidden inside this wall so that the bathroom can be closed off. Uh, our living quarter, we do have air conditioning. We do have a uh, stereo system with some uh, speakers for entertainment purposes. And here in the slide, we do have a sofa that can kick down into a jackknife sleeper bed with some handy storage underneath.
So what's nice is if there's a couple of you in here, you're not tripping over one another. You have plenty of floor space in here. Especially nice if you're trying to get changed real quick between events or between rides. You know, you're not, you're, you don't have to kick everyone out of the trailer, just put on a pair of jeans. Um, big windows in here, something I noticed too. A lot of living quarter companies are not very inclined to put big windows in their stuff. Another cool touch I noticed is the recessed headboard they have going on here. You see down here, there is some space where you could have an alarm clock or something, or maybe your phone charging in handy. Not to mention the two pockets and dresser uh, cabinets that we see right there. I mean, some very nice touches. And they do have um, hookups right there for a TV. This wall right here is perfect for a small little flat screen. Get you like a 16 to 19 inch flat screen, put it on a little swing arm, um, mounted against this cabinet or maybe that wall, and you're in, you're all set. Your ace is at that point. Um, you do have extra wardrobe right here, and they do have handy access points to everything underneath. God forbid you do need some kind of work or service. I do like the little snap-on window blind here. So if you want total privacy, you can really block out the sun in this place. And just a, a nice little touch feature. All of the uh, blinds. Um, or all the windows rather they do frame in and it just gives it an awesome nice look all of your trim work and everything in here is fantastic the fit and the finish in the cabinetry I'm very impressed with we are also a huge RV dealership so that's the kind of stuff I look for just naturally and I've been very impressed I, I there's a couple brands of RVs that I wish took a couple notes from our horse trailers like these Lakotas um, they've gone to the new glass top cooktop so that when you're not cooking you just have extra counter space which is awesome and uh, I think that pretty much sums up the quick tour of it but if you need some more specific information don't hesitate to call we are here to take care of you before during and after the sale uh, the number is 800-256-5196 Haylet RV of Coldwater Michigan thank you everybody happy trails